How's it going, everyone? Maryland here. That's right. It's time for more Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Kobe's Journey. Aw, yeah. It is one of my favorite games, I tell you. I just love it so much. I've been playing the, uh, the 3DS version. I imported that. And it is awesome. Oh, man. It took forever to get here, but... It is really, it's kind of neat. Although, I have to say, I do prefer this version. I like it better. Uh, which is really funny to say, but I do like the graphics on the one. Anyway, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, I did a little bit of training off camera, like I said I would. Not as much as I think I need to, though. But, I did go ahead and breed up a new monster. It's like, oh, well, you know what? I guess I could use one of these. This is a Robuster. And... Yeah, I bred, oh, what was it, just like a golem I had and a grizzly. It's like, oh, okay, this is a cool thing. Looks pretty awesome. And, yeah, it's all like metal and everything. And you know what? I was just going to use it for breeding, but wow, it has really good attack. Actually, its stats are amazing. I'm very impressed with it. So I was just thinking of having it for like a breeding material. But, yeah, I named him R66Y. There is a reason for that, if you are familiar with um, <laughs> a very popular RPG for the Super Nintendo. Um, unfortunately, the dash, the hyphen, that um, was not in this game, so I couldn't do it perfectly. But, oh well, that's fine. So we, we do have R66Y. I figured that'd be a good name for a RoboSur. Okay, so last time we unlocked the key to Limbo. However, the monsters there are still pretty strong. So, you know what? I think perhaps instead of, you know, trying to tackle that, maybe we should do some of the optional stuff. Like, try to defeat some of the bosses of these worlds. Blue Magma, Red Tree. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's, um, actually before I do that, I have like a lot of money right now. So just in case I die, I would rather not lose half of my money. So I'm going to go deposit some of that into my bank. My bank. Oh yeah, wait, this isn't my bank. This is the metal thing. Although, do I have any tiny metals? I don't remember. Oh no, I don't. Darn it. Okay, well that's, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and deposit some gold. All right, here we go. We're gonna deposit like all that. Okay, so um, let's deposit some other things. Ooh, mine. What does that do again? Oh, I think I needed that. That's the thing that heals up MP, which is super helpful. We went on that adventure for that, didn't we? The ice tower. Yeah. That, uh, I seem to recall that place being a lot more challenging than it was, although the repellent was a really good way to take care of that. Okay, I just want to make sure that I have some room. I'm going to need some exit bells, and I'm going to need some repellent. Now, I have three repellent. That should be enough for one dungeon. But what I found is, while exploring these random key worlds, and looking for treasure, looking for things, for some loot, and for other monsters, I find that it's actually pretty nice to just use repellents to get through everything because that way, you know, you don't have to fight like every few steps. There are a lot of encounters in this game, so yeah, it's kind of a shame. Okay, so this is just one of those random worlds. Oh, no way, a tiny metal, that's awesome. Great, okay, so let's see, um, I want to buy buy like two exit bells and let's buy like a repellent we'll use that later on but first first and foremost I want to go find the boss here so what I usually do right away is I just kind of ride across the water or the sky or whatever it is <laughs> today it's the water and I just try to find like a new continent um, because that's where the castle generally is. Usually, well, almost always, the castle won't be on the same continent as where you start. And there will be between two and four, actually one and four islands or stuff. Oh, look at all these guys. 
Oh, they're pretty weak, though. Alright, well, that's fine. They might have been kind of difficult earlier on, though. But now I think I'm in good shape for it. So this is one of the things I enjoy doing. Oh, hey. Oh, that's right. I'm not going to be able to join until I take out the boss of this world. This is a nice town. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta go do that. Gotta go do that. Okay, so let's go do that. Um, well, we have to go find the uh, castle. I don't know where that is. Might not even be on this continent. I guess I'll go over here. Do -do -do. All right. Petiteals or whatever they are. Yep. <laughs> They're so funny looking. Alright, well, we'll just take these out really quick. Oh, good old turn based RPGs. I really do like them. I'm trying to remember, I was having a conversation with my co workers. I think it was yesterday even about, um, actually about the Pokemon series, which <laughs> if you know me, you know, of course I play Pokemon. Um, well, like, he apparently played the card game, which is pretty cool, but never played the video game. And you know, really the best way to describe Pokemon to, or like, you know, how Pokemon plays as a game, it's really like a kind of JRPG or Japanese RPG or, you know, old school kind of RPG type thing. I mean, not quite so old school like tabletop kind, but like, you know, Final Fantasy for, well, okay, that's a bad example. That was an active time battle system, but whatever. I mean, you know, it's, it's like those old kind of RPGs, like Dragon Quest, for instance, or Dragon Warrior, as a lot of us grew up knowing it, which, I mean, this game was still called Dragon Warrior. But that's like the best way to describe it, I think, because it's true, it's very much like that. And that's why this is very much like that, too. You know, back in those days, this is just how the RPGs were. You know, it's like, yeah, you had, you had like, hit points and some form of magic or something. Like, this layout, this whole battle layout, it looks very familiar to, say, Earthbound, if you're familiar with that game. It, uh, I mean, obviously the stats and stuff would be on the bottom screen in that case, for like hit points and MP, but overall, plays more or less the same. Well, that's because Earthbound actually plays very similar to how Dragon Warrior or Dragon Quest played. But I'm trying to think of which kind of came first. Um, because, not necessarily Earthbound, like that I know, but I know that there was... Uh, wow, everything wants to join me today. That's so weird. I know that there was Earthbound Zero, or Mother One, and I know that was for the NES, but I'm trying to remember when that was released in comparison to, say, Dragon Warrior 3 or Dragon Warrior 4. Huh, I don't know, actually. Oh my goodness. All right, where is that castle? It's being a little difficult today. Well, we're going to find that castle, and then all these things that want to join, they'll actually really be able to join us, which is great. But I do want to make note of where all of the towers and stuff are, because we're going to be exploring those. Try to find some loot, some magic keys, stuff like that. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is not working out too well now, is it? Okay, well, generally that's what I try to do. I try to, you know, just explore the different continents, other than the one I started on because I'm not as likely to find the castle there. And once you find the castle, then you can fight the boss. This is just for those randomly generated worlds. Well, I guess it's not on this one either. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's fight these things. Now this is a rather low level dungeon area, but I guess it's actually giving reasonable experience. It's not a ton, but it'll add up. I really need to do a lot of training. Unfortunately, the, um, <laughs> oh man, the final boss of this game, or at least in the main storyline, pretty tough. Like, he has this attack, 
Giga Slash. And it can hit things for like between 120 to like 360 damage. Oh my goodness, it is... It is crazy. Like, that's a lot. <laughs> um, so... Yeah. Um, that, that is a lot. Oh, there's the castle. Now some things can be immune to it. Alright, so we gotta fight this thing. What is that thing, anyway? I feel your strength. This will be a long battle. Oh, I hope not. Alright, let's go, buddy. Okay, so... Who's Marilyn talking to? I'm talking to you guys! <laughs> of course. Whoa! White air! Oh, that's not good. Alright, let's see. I'm talking to everyone watching this on YouTube, eventually. Or watching it live streaming. That's sort of how streams work, <laughs> generally. Generally. Um, oh man, you know what? I keep forgetting. I used to have Grace set to, like, heal all the time, and, well, while training, it's like, oh, you know what? We'll just have her do other stuff. So, <laughs> I should probably switch her back to healing. Good call. R66Y almost got, like, destroyed there. But now Grace should be healing up a little bit better. Yeah, that's what you're doing. It's sort of weird to have, you know, the dragon of the team be like the healer, but it actually works pretty well. Okay. I really like R66Y. He's been pretty decent. I think I want to breed him though, because there's this other kind of thing I can get called a Metal Drac, and it looks sweet, but I needed a Robo Stir in order to get it, so that's a thing, but, you know, we can figure that out. Figure maybe we can do that together. Okay, well, now that the boss has been defeated, I think it's time to check out the rest of the world, <laughs> now that it's all explored. So, any of the monsters that we've encountered, they will join us now, which is cool. We can also chuck some meat at them to increase the chances of them joining. But also, we want to go to these towers or caves. I guess it's just towers and caves, unfortunately. Like, the layout, like, it changes a little bit, but other than that, it's just... It gets kind of, kind of repetitive, really. Oh man, um, yeah, that's it's rather, rather unfortunate, but it's still kind of neat that they have randomly generated dungeons in a Game Boy Color game. Like not even Game Boy Advance, but Game Boy Color. So even though it's not like perfect, hey, it's really not that bad. Uh, let's see, what's my worst accident ever? Probably when I was sledding, when I was a kid. I was sledding, I was climbing up this, um, this hill. I used to go to this hill all the time when it was winter, and sled down with my friends, it was really fun. And then one time, it was cold out, it was snowing, and as I was walking up, and I was, I must have been like, 11, 12 maybe, I know I was, I must have been 12, because Pokemon was out, and this does affect things. Or maybe it was 13, I think I might have my side, I don't remember. Whatever the case, um, I was much younger than I am today, but I uh, was climbing up the hill, and man, you know what happened? There was like this jerk kid just came sledding right down, crashed right into me, just kept going. I flipped over in the air and, like, landed, and my wrist was so sprained. I couldn't move it. I couldn't feel it. I, I don't even know what happened then. And my wrist, my left wrist was sprained for, like, it was, let's see, this happened in December, which really stinks. There was this, uh... <laughs> This Tony Hawk game, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, it was like the first Tony Hawk game, so you know, it was back when it was like, really cool, and I remember being so upset, I couldn't play that at all, like I tried so hard, but in the end it didn't even matter, so, <laughs> um, yeah, there's another throwback for you. But, oh my goodness, I had to go to the hospital. I don't even remember that. Like, honestly, I, I know I went to the hospital, but all I remember is just 
that point of, you know, flipping over like that, and then, um, I was just at my friend's house, and then I don't even remember the rest of that. It really stinks. But, man, that was just, that was crazy. It was sprained for three months. I couldn't move my wrist at all for three months. And, you know, this is when Pokemon was out, I was playing the card game. Oh, it was the worst! It's like, I had to put it in a sling, and it wasn't even like it was just broken. Like, I just flat out couldn't move it, and it hurt to even try to move it. So that was terrible. Oh, man. Alright, alright, alright. So, that, that kind of hurt, <laughs> to say the least. But, oh well, you know what? It's in the past, that's just how it goes. Um, you know, all things considered, I've been pretty fortunate. I've never actually broken anything. That's the closest I've had to breaking anything. I've had, a, you know, that sprain thing, and I had a, my, I think it was my elbow sprain during a, uh, a trip down to Huntsville, Alabama, actually. It was, oh, man, that was the worst. I took a dive while I was walking. It's like, oh man, it's like there's this, this, not even like a crack in the sidewalk, but like, it was just like something caught me as I was walking and then bam, just crashed down. And you know, it didn't really hurt or anything until the next day when I had to catch my plane. It's like, man, this really hurts. No, it's, I know I stopped um, doing videos for a little bit during that. It's like, oops. <laughs> But it hurt. It actually, like, hurt, you know, holding the uh, 3DS like that. Or, I think it was the DS at the time. I was playing a Black 2? Yeah, I think it was Black 2. Everything happened when I was playing that. Oh, my goodness. So, that kind of stunk. Oh, man. And it's weird. Like, I could play Minecraft just fine. Because it was totally fine if I didn't kind of twist my arm like that. Like, it's different when you're, you're kind of holding a controller like this. It's a little difficult for me to, you know, visualize it on stream for you. But it's a different angle. Like, it was fine for me if I had it elevated enough for my mouse. And so, I don't know. It was just it was crazy. It was crazy. But, you know what? Again, it's in the past. Thankfully that one wasn't as bad, it was just inconvenient. Oh man, yeah, so hopefully you see what I mean about all these monsters in this tower, right? They're all over the place, and the best way to get around them is just to use those repellents. But you know what? Um, I'm not using them just because it's like, eh, I'm gonna see if anyone wants to join. <laughs> of course, now that I've freed them from their evil overlord, now, of course, you're like, eh, who wants to join you? <laughs> Beforehand, it was like, oh yeah, I want to join you so bad. But, oh no. I guess that's just how it goes, huh? Okay, well, you know what? Oh, here we go, treasure. Tiny metal, nice! You got two of those. So at the very end of this whole dungeon thing... Oh, nice, a bell. At the very end of it, that's where you'll find some sort of pretty cool loot. Some kind of treasure. And you can find some good stuff there, but, you know, you have to get to the top, and it's random. So you don't even know what it's going to be. So that makes it kind of fun. Now, one of the things I want to get would be... I'm just going to toss this beef jerky on the ground. Who needs that? It's gross. Save that exit bell. I'll be using that in a moment. Again, that way, just so I don't have to walk all the way back down. That's why exit bells and... Whoa, wrong way. Exit bells and repellents. Those are the things to get when you're climbing these. They make doing a lot of exploring nice. I'm just fighting random stuff just because, you know, it's like, well, I'll take a little bit of experience and I want to see what's in the area. Although I guess I have informer on someone, so I can just have them say, hey, who's here? Who's here? And they'll just tell me who's here. <laughs> but, oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Do, 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 do. Oh man, alright, so. Oh man, all those stories, I tell you. <laughs> I have several stories, but at the same time, it feels like everyone else has so much more. But, that's yeah, fine. 
Okay, here we are, finally at the top. Let's see what my reward is. A silver cape. That sounds shiny. Okay, um, let's get rid of that other beef jerky. We don't need this thing. Just toss it on the ground. Uh, just beef jerky. Okay, so what does this thing even do? That's a good question. Resist confusion, poison, and sleep. Well, that'd be nice for the Pokemon trading card game, but actually it's pretty good here anyway. Okay, so I'm going to use that exit bell. Get out of here. And let's go to the next tower, which remember, I think it was... Wait, was it up there? Yeah, I think it was. Although, you know what? We might as well fully explore the rest of this continent. Okay, and then I'm just going to use repels to get through the rest of this, because, you know, we've seen probably enough. It's not really like any of the monsters here are all that, you know, desirable. Although there's that spiky boy. You know what? I was thinking about that. I think at the end of the last stream, it's like, you know, I never got that spike. Really? 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 <laughs> really? Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter now. The person who wanted to breed uh, for a spiky boy, I think, won't want that anymore. Like, you have to do that before a certain point. Uh, so that, that really kind of stinks. But oh well, it's fine. You know what? We, we dealt with it. That's cool. We got it. <laughs> Even if it's like, I don't know, two streams too late. Wow, that sounds like it could be the title of a movie or something. Two streams too late. Doesn't it? I think it does. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know, but whatever the case. Apparently it would have made a bomb crag. Remember that thing that we fought at the, the cave in the ice world where the two kingdoms were fighting and all that? Yeah. So it's not like it was even super exciting anyway. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be something like way too cool. I mean, it was okay, but it's not like, you know, the best thing ever. Oh, so here's what I want to do. I want to use Informer. Who has that? Ryan? It's Ryan time. Yeah, all right, use Informer. Super useful move for figuring out what's here. All right, Snaily, Spiky Boy, Spot Slime, and Mad Candle, and a Slabbit, and a Mud Doll. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. But nothing that really sounds like, oh, must have it. So let's just use this repellent. It's so nice. Remember how long it took us to get through that one dungeon? That tower? Well, now we can just, like, walk right through it. It takes all the stress out of it, or at least most of it. It's still kind of frustrating. It's like, where are those stupid stairs? Like, if you do this enough times, you do lose sanity. Like, seriously, it's a thing. It's like, oh man, you start to see symbols. You start to give them nicknames. Because all of these different intersections and stuff, you know, they'll have... Um, you know, not like repeating patterns, but, you know, they'll have similar ones. And, you know, there's some that are more unique, I guess. I don't know. I really don't. But I know that it just destroys your sanity trying to find these items. <laughs> That's what I found so addictive about this game. It's like, oh, man, I just want to get to the top. I want to get a new magic key so I can explore somewhere else cool. And then, oh wow, that was a really short dungeon, my goodness. Ooh, a platinum cape, that's pretty rare. Well, that's cool. Alright, great. So, that's uh, Irresist Curse, Paralysis, and Death. Wow, that sounds great. I love being able to resist death. Jeez! Okay, nice. Now I can resist death. Okay, well, we're going over here. It can also be sold for a lot of money if I recall can also be given to that dream egg thing. And I think it increases the chance of being like a boss monster, which would be pretty cool. Still haven't done anything more with that. Oh, well. Oh, repellent's effect wore off. Okay, well, I gotta go over this way. This way, yeah. Back to the starting continent. Doesn't look like we unlocked any more magic keys, which is a shame. That's kind of what I wanted to get. But it's not the end of the world either. Oh, why are you suddenly attacking? Oh, you wiped out my robot! You wiped out my robot! How dare you? It's Ryan time now. Oh yeah, quad hits. 
So cool. It like, it hits everything. Well, okay, it doesn't hit everything, but it hits for like, uh, four times on all monsters. But usually for about like half power. But that's still really good. Still really darn good. Okay. Ooh, what are we doing over there? Alright, alright, here we go. Yeah, so nice. <laughs> he needs more MP though, that's the big problem. Like, he doesn't have a whole lot. Oh, Slabbit wants to join. Alright, we're gonna call you Bugs. Um, two G's. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Uh, do I want to take him with? Not really, but I want to take a look at him. Hey, not too bad. Okay, cool. cool. Great! We got a new monster! We can breed them! Stuff! Get more powerful monsters. It's so addictive in this game. It's like, you just want to keep breeding stuff so you get more powerful stuff. So then you can breed more powerful stuff and then breed to get even more powerful stuff. And then you just kind of ask yourself, why... Like, why did you do that? I don't, I don't know. I kind of find myself asking that kind of often. But, oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, gotta take some blaze air. <laughs> I'm not even going to. You know what it is. Okay, let's uh, finish this thing off. Face to facer. All right, well, you know what? I have to say, this world is now explored. So, we don't really even need it anymore. In fact, I could probably just go ahead and delete this key, and we'll never even go back here ever again. And you know what? That's actually not the end of the world, because then it just makes sure that we'll have plenty of room for more keys, which is nice. You can also earn keys at the, uh, the tournament place thing, whatchamacallit, but you know what? I, I don't really want to go there, so... I, I can't even go there right now because it's all closed and everything. Because stupid Prince... Or not Prince, the Monster King guy. He wants to, like, I don't know, take over the world or something. Now, this isn't the castle. <laughs> it's not that easy. Uh, the, yeah, it's kind of sad. Ooh, dance veggies. They're dancing carrots. Wait, have I been here? Well, I haven't beaten the boss, but I do recall running into these dancing carrots. They're so great. I think... Wait, maybe... Did we get one? I don't even know if I did. Oh! Critical hit! Beautiful! Look at that! Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's rhyme time! Lure dance, strong D? That's pretty strong. Ooh, um... Let's see, let's get rid of Ice Slash, because you know what? I found out that Ryan has just terrible attack, but he can still use spells pretty well. I think that'll be good. Okay, so we're going to get rid of, actually like Informer, I'm going to get rid of Strong D. I think you're fine. Okay, so let's see, um, some golds. Oh wow, well I have not explored this place very much. That's fine. Oh, another really useful thing when exploring these worlds, you can sometimes find foreign monster masters. And you can even steal some of their monsters. I know, it's great. I love it. I love it. Okay, so um, that's, that's really good. Ooh, there's a cave. Although I usually like to find the, um, the boss thing first, so that way, you know, if a monster wants to join me, it's like, oh, okay. Come along now, why don't you? So I think tree, that might only be plant monsters. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's slow now. You know what I totally forgot to get before the stream? I forgot to get water. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I always hate it when I'm parched for the stream. It's like, oh, you gotta talk for like two hours, which... You know, it's actually more difficult than you think. Oh man, it's kind of crazy really because it's not just, you know, two hours having a conversation with someone. I mean, obviously I'm talking to the people of the chat, but, and of oh, YouTube, huh? Um, but, you know, you're, you're talking back, 
but not in such a way that it's like, oh, okay, I'll listen for a little bit, and then, yeah, I, I don't know. So it's like talking for two hours straight. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll be in Baraboo this weekend. Unfortunately, no, I'm not going to be able to go to Baraboo. Um, I know the uh, Wisconsin State Championships for Pokemon is there, card game. And, you know, it's like, it's kind of sad. I don't really play the card game all that much anymore. And, you know, it's like, it does cost money to enter and everything. And it's not like it's that big of a deal. It's just kind of like the principle of it. Like, I'm not that great these days, so I don't really just want to go there to spend money just to lose. I know it's, it's like, I don't care about winning or losing, but, I, you know, I like it a lot more when it's free if I lose <laughs> than if I have to pay for it. It's like, oh, okay. Um, so I haven't been into the card game competitively as much, so, but I'm thinking I'll go to regionals which is at the end of May, I think, in Madison, Wisconsin, because that's fun, and that has the VGC, which should be free, and that's awesome. Uh, so, you know, I can just play in that and goof around. Don't have to worry too much. I always like the regional events. <laughs> They're fun. I hadn't gone to any um, this year, though. Or no, I, I guess throughout the whole season, I didn't go to... Uh, um, any technically in 2015, but for the 2014-2015 season, I <laughs> had that trip to Indiana, to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how we wound up in Michigan, all right? Oh, Carrot didn't want to go in. Like, how on earth... Oh, look at that castle right by the water. How is about the views. Oh, what? Is that a stump? Those monsters are my foes? Fwahaha! <laughs> ludicrous! <laughs> That's ludicrous, dog. Alright, let's fight. Um, what do I even have for, like, moves? Grace, maybe you should do something cool, like use white air, because it's very strong. R66Y, what can you do? Do you have anything cool you can do? I guess you could probably just quad hits everything. And how about you? Increase would be just a great idea. Let's just get set up. Just gonna do massive damages to everyone. It's rhyme time! Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, you're not even damaging me. You're just like, there, existing, getting frozen. Ooh, one damage. So scared. Um, let's just have Grace charge. Yeah, just, everyone charge, whatever. Just, just, have fun! Have fun while I just chill for a little bit. Oh man, alright, alright, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a thing. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm also actually really pumped because today, um, or at least, you know, for the live stream, I know I'm quite a bit behind on YouTube archives, but uh, today they announced all sorts of locations for Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions, and it's like there's one in Milwaukee, there's one in Chicago, and those are like really close to me, so I know I'm going to both of them, even though they're like back to back, but so worth it. I can't wait. And I'll probably travel to some other ones. I think I actually want to go to the one in Oregon, Portland. Portland, Oregon. Because I think that'd be pretty cool. I've always wanted to go there, actually. I haven't been to Oregon, but I hear it's pretty cool.